So, in lecture 17, uh, we are going to talk about the surface uh, irrigation hydraulics. So, in this uh, basically we focus on see what are the phases of irrigation and uh, how do we model those phases and what are uh, what is the meaning of those phases uh, while um, you know uh, simulating water flow in surface irrigation. So, basically the aim of uh, the surface irrigation system design uh, is to determine the appropriate inflow rates and cutoff times. Uh, so, the maximum or desired performance is obtained for a given field condition. So, the, in this the basically we are going to see what is the uh, inflow rate and what are the cutoff rates. So, cutoff times are when to stop irrigation uh, and so that the maximum or desired performance is obtained. So, so that the water is sufficient to uh, infiltrate uh, the field. Okay. So, uh, in order to do that, so these, these are the some of the parameters we need to concern. So, the first thing is the, the stream size. So, how much water we need to release. So, that is the stream size and then the next one is the rate of advance. Okay. So, the third is the length of run, how long I mean how long you need to uh, try, uh, you need to you know pass this water from uh, head end to tail end. And the fourth one is the flow depth, okay. a fifth is intake rate and uh, six is the uh, land slope, seventh roughness, uh, eighth erosion hazard. So, whether the flow which is uh, 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 whether it is causing any uh, erosion or not. And the ninth is the uh, shape of flow or border furrow, these are the shapes and depth of water to be applied. So, this is the required. So, these uh, parameters we need to consider while designing an irrigation system. Okay, so, so, the next is what are the irrigation phases? So, the phases basically the four phases right. So, if you look at uh, this, so the what we do in uh, irrigation surface irrigation system. So, this is the field and one end you are going to uh, deliver water and we expect that to reach the field end right. This is the field uh, starting point ending point. Okay. So, the water which is uh, traveling from one uh, head end to tail end is called advanced phase. So, water moves very slowly from point to point and reaches the head end. Okay. So, this, this phase is called advanced phase. Okay. So, then uh, if you see if you uh, draw a graph between this is the distance and the time. So, you expect this kind of curve. So, that is called advanced curve. If you see this, this is an advanced curve. Okay. Right. So, and, uh, and uh, so suppose, uh, so this is impervious surface, right, if you, Im impervious surface. So, that means, so water is not infiltrating. So, in that case, you may expect a straight line instead of a curvy line. So, we expect a straight line because the uh, so, the water, so there is no loss, the water is really flowing at the same speed. So, here since, so there is a water is, uh, a water is flowing through a porous surface, right. So, at the end the travel uh, time will be delayed, okay. So, that is really causing, uh, so this kind of curve, okay. So, anyway, so the first from head end to tail end you expect this is called the advance, the water front advance. Okay. So, then after that, uh, after that, so what we do? We expect uh, the infiltration. Suppose, this is the plant and this is the plant root zone, this is the plant root zone. Okay. So, the water front advance, so the water advance it reaches from one end to other end, field end it is reached. But this is not enough to infiltrate down. We are expecting the infiltration at this point. So, that is the reason we need to irrigate more. Okay. So, and the, since the, the uh, 
point where it is reaching the end and still you are irrigating right. So, that is called uh, the, the uh, runoff phase or storage phase this is called storage that is called storage phase ok. So, then once, once the uh, wetting front reaches the desired uh, level right desired surface then you are going to turn off the pump ok and then what is going to happen. So, then the water is not uh, really adding to this point right. So, since there is no water at this point uh, the from the point of cutoff to no water then uh, this is going to come to be 0 and this phase is called the depletion phase ok. And from this point so similar to advance point so the drying phase is going to start right. So, the drying point is going to advance from this point to till the end point and that is called the recession ok. So, these four phases we expect in surface irrigation system and so this, this is the best example of the graph. So, this is the advance curve and then uh, after that. So, this is the time of advance then after that you cut off here at this point ok at this point water is being cut down. So, then so, but still there is a storage water and in order to infiltrate down this take this much time at the head end ok. okay. So, that is the depletion and this depletion ok. So, at this point this is depletion then after that this drying phase is going to start that is called recession phase and it is going to end. So, from this point to this point ok. So, the difference between these two curves is called infiltration opportunity time. So, at that particular point at that particular point. So, the uh, so the time since advance point to the recession point ok. So, advance to recession point. So, so this that during that time. So, the soil got opportunity to infiltrate water down to the desired point ok. So, this the so simply so irrigation uh, for irrigation hydraulics we need to uh, concern or concentrate on these uh, four phases. So, you in order to simulate the water flow in irrigation system. So, you need to simulate all these uh, four phases ok. Okay. So, the next is the typical surface irrigation phases as I explained. So, here clearly you can see in the pictures ok. So, the first phase is the advanced phase. So, where it begins when water is turned into the field ok. So, when the water initially enters the phase starts and then it advances the water front advances ok. This is advanced to the field end and it ends when the water reaches the downstream of the field. So, it reaches downstream then the advanced uh, phase is going to end starting uh, for delivery of water ending of the uh, field end I mean reaching the field end. And storage phase it begins when the advanced phase ends when advanced phase ends the storage phase begins and the storage phase ends when the inflow ends ok. So, the storage uh, ends when you cut off and depletion phase it begins when storage phase ends ok when you cut off uh, what happened. So, so then immediately depletion phase is going to start and it ends when the depth of the water the depth of the water exactly at the head end is going to deplete from h to 0 ok. So, that is the depletion phase at the head end. And the recession phase it begins when depletion phase ends and then it continues until drying front reaches the end just like it is kind of a uh, reverse advance ok. It is kind of a reverse advance ok. So, typical surface irrigation phases already mentioned and the infiltration opportunity time also we uh, uh, explained. So, this is infiltration opportunity time. So, this is the difference between the advance uh, difference between advance time and recession time ok. So, 
the vertical distance between the advanced and recent curves uh, for irrigation uniformity to be high opportunity time must be same throughout the field. So, the opportunity time if this is same throughout the field, so then we expect the uniform irrigation uh, or uniform infiltration throughout the field and this is normally uh, facilitated by a flat advanced curve. Okay, so, just like here in the in the field. Okay, so, the next is uh, uh, governing equations. So, if you are talking about you know the simulation models, so the basically so the simulations simulation models uh, in surface irrigation uh, works or uh, formulated on St. Venant equations. So, it has both mass and momentum equations. So, the mass equation and then momentum equation. So, here you clearly if you see this is the mass conservation of mass and conservation of momentum equation. Okay. So, this is the complete St. Venant equation. If you use this equation is called uh, I mean without simplifying this equation is called full hydrodynamic hydrodynamic uh, model. Okay. So, here we explained uh, the terms so the basically. So, why is the depth this is very important. So, we are going to we are going to simulate the depth over the uh, surface of the field. Suppose, here what depth, what depth, what depth. So, these are the depths at uh, different advanced points and then the velocity v our t uh, time and x distance i is infiltration rate and z acceleration due to gravity s naught uh, slope s sub friction slope and a cross sectional area. So, and we have different modeling approaches. So, based on the simplifications we uh, think. So, here there are four approaches uh, as explained in the table. So, the first in first one is full hydrodynamic model which uses the St. Venant equations both uh, conservation and uh, conservation of mass and momentum equations and zero inertia equations where the momentum equation is simplified. So, it uses the mass equation and uh, as so the zero inertia so inertia term will be neglected here. So, the basically in the second equation we end up with d y by d x equal s naught minus s f. Okay. So, the mo, uh, mass equation and this equation d y by d x equal s naught s y. So, these two uh, equations will be used to solve uh, for depth. Okay. And uh, third one is kinematic wave equation this is uniform flow assumption that is s naught minus s f equal to 0. So, both the bed slope and uh, energy slope are uh, equal, equal. So, in that case uh, and here we, we have mass equation and then the s naught minus s f equal to 0. So, the two equations will be used for solving uh, for uh, uh, depth water depth and fourth one is, is simplified uh, equation that is the volume balance equation. This is a numerical solution of temporarily and uh, spatially lumped mass conservation equation. So, in this the complete momentum equation will be neglected and only uh, mass equation will be left. So, we are going to solve the mass equation uh, uh, we are going to see those uh, I mean then uh, the rest of slides how we are going to do. Okay, so, here as I mentioned the volume balance model because other models can be uh, I mean can be adopted from uh, other research uh, articles or any other books I mentioned, but uh, here we uh, stick to the volume balance model which is a simplified uh, mass balance equation. So, if you look at this the so volume balance equation. So, the q naught t which is uh, the flow the volume of water which is you know uh, inflow to the system suppose this is a, a field. So, the water which is uh, added this is q naught into t. So, that will have two parts this whole volume will be converted or I mean break down into two parts one is surface volume and subsurface volume. So, water which is a top which is staying on top and so, volume which is infiltrated down. Okay. So,
So, these two parts can be thought of you know two rectangular pieces right two rectangular pieces. So, this is one rectangular piece and this is another rectangular piece of water and if you sum these two and that will be equal to q naught into t okay, that is equal to q naught into t. But in actual terms, so this is the actual uh, piece of volume right. So, that is the reason we need to multiply with the fraction. So, that fraction is sigma y into. So, if suppose this is the a naught. So, this is a naught here we mentioned okay. this is a naught at the head end and the rest. So, if you have this, uh, this is the whole is the uh, one rectangular piece. So, since in real term we expect the, this kind of uh, surface and this needs to be cut down and that is the reason it is called surface uh, shape factor. This is a sur surface shape factor and a naught into x. Okay. So, this is the uh, uh, breadth and, and the length. So, x is the length. So, similarly for this you still have z naught into sigma uh, z naught into x into sigma z. So, sigma z is uh, sigma z is subsurface shape factor and this is x and z naught is the infiltration at the head end. Okay. And the same thing, so we converted the, the whole thing this is z naught into uh, x into sigma z. So, the whole thing is uh, calculated by, uh, by an integral. So, that is 0 to x z uh, is the vertical you know distance vertical water front down uh, vertical water front that is t minus t s into d s. So, t minus t s is uh, opportunity time infiltration opportunity time. Okay. And uh, so, this is the uh, whole volume balance equation if you see. So, the total volume applied so that will be equal to this surface storage and this is subsurface storage okay, the vol whole volume. So, here the individually sigma y is sub uh, uh, surface shape factor that will be taken as 0 0.77 and uh, a naught will be estimated by using Manning's roughness coefficient uh, Manning's roughness equation or Manning's equation. So, that is a naught is equal q naught uh, q square by n square 3600 rho 1 s naught rho 1 by rho 1. So, here we need to assume uh, a square r power 4 by 3 rho 1 a power rho 2. Okay. So, how do we get this? So, if you see, uh, so let us say q is equal to a into 1 by n r power 2 by 3 s power 1 by 2, is not it? So, here uh, if you increase, if you uh, take a out, so a is equal to q n divided by r power 2 by 3 and s power half. Okay. So, or or before even doing that, so a r power just a minute. So, here uh, yeah, q is equal to a into 1 by n r power 2 by 3 s power half. right? So, q square this is a square and this is n square and 4 by 3 and this will be 1. Okay. So, now a square into r power 4 by 3 a square r power 4 by 3 just substitute r 1 a power r 2. So, that will be that will be q square is equal to r 1 a power r 2 s divided by n square. Okay. And now, uh, taking a out and you will get this equation. Okay. So, here 3600 you convert uh, you know minutes basically this is uh, meter cube per minute and uh, you can convert into meter cube per second meter cube per second that is a unit conversion. So, so this way this is the next step and then the so the next one is uh, 
the cumulative infiltration z. So, that cumulative infiltration if you see we use Kostyakov modified Kostyakov equation that is k t power a plus uh, f naught tau. So, tau again this is opportunity time that is t minus t s that is opportunity time. Okay. And then so generally what we assume f naught is known before uh, the irrigation event otherwise you can also uh, estimate by inflow outflow method or there are some values given by Walker and uh, scoreboard. So, there you, there is a table for a particular soil type you can get f naught. So, f naught can be known right and uh, k the infiltration k and a are the infiltration parameters uh, for the particular soil. So, substituting this 3 into equation 1 which is, which is uh, volume balance equation. So, q naught t into sigma y a naught x and this is the whole uh, equation just substitute for z, z t z tau and you get this equation. So, then I am going to integrate this and then the other assumption is. So, since we are talking about the waterfront advance. So, we assume that the advance uh, is a power function. So, like uh, x is equal to here s is equal to let us say s s is equal to p t power or t s power b. Okay. So, this is the power advance curve. So, we assume that the waterfront advance uh, follow a power function. Okay. So, that is s is equal to p t s power b where p and b are the fitted parameters. So, substitute uh, T s. So, now take the T s out T s is equal to s by p power 1 by b. So, substitute uh, T s in the previous equation. So, okay, so, you get this equation and equation 6 the same thing can be written. So, you take T out. So, that is the T power a out. So, that is k T power a and 1 minus T by a, uh, 1 by T s power p. Right. Similarly, this. Okay. So, now the next uh, step is, so the next step is, so, so once you once you have that equation, so uh, you have to expand the, the first few terms in that equation uh, in, in, in the uh, infiltration equation and this let it be there. So, now integrating substituting this. So, this is the binomial expansion. So, you are going to uh, expand that series the particular series. Okay. So, the particular series is going to be uh, expanded. So, the uh, I mean you get first, second, third terms. Okay. So, this is called binomial expansion and uh, then you integrate by and after integration this just substitute x power 1 by b is equal to p power 1 by b okay, into t. So, this you got it from uh, the power advance curve. So, that is uh, x is equal to p t power b is not it. So, then x power 1 by b is equal to p power 1 by b into t. Okay. So, similarly x power 2 by b is equal to uh, p power 2 by b into t square. Okay. So, the terms x power 1 by b, x power 2 by b needs to be replaced uh, with these terms. Okay. So, then finally, you will get this equation q naught t sigma y a naught x this is surface uh, volume and so subsurface volume you get this one. Okay. So, this particular term if you see Right. So, this is uh, basically you get that sigma z which is called subsurface shape factor right this particular thing uh, if you use binomial ex expansion. So, if you use uh, key for expansion okay, and uh, you get another uh, equation. So, this is so as I mentioned so this whole equation can be written like this. So, this is sigma z so, this is sigma z and if you use a key for, so he has given sigma z in this format okay. and uh, so we have uh, recent I mean 2008 reported that 
the bi uh, sigma z by binomial expansion is equal to 1.0257 uh, into uh, sigma z and key for expansion. So, here a b, so a is the infiltration parameter and b is the power uh, coefficient, okay, power coefficient in case of uh, this is advanced uh, power coefficient and this is infiltration parameter. Okay. All right. So, I mean the whole thing what uh, we are doing is, so we are uh, trying to find out the volume balance equation right by considering the surface and subsurface uh, volumes okay so using the final equation final volume balance equation so that is uh, this is the final volume balance equation okay so this equation it has x and t x and t so uh, how do we you know find out so here the unknowns are k is one, one unknown, A is another unknown. Okay. So, these infiltration parameters, how do we uh, you know estimate the infiltration parameter of the field by knowing the waterfront advance. Okay. So, this is easy. So, uh, Elliot and uh, Walker has given a procedure. So, if you know the two advance points if you know the two advance points, so advance point here, advance point here, right? This is x1, t1, x1, x2, t2, right? So one is a distance and time, distance and time. So knowing these two, you say just substitute uh, these two one advance point in one equation and another advance point in this equation. So you get two equations with two unknowns, k and a are the unknowns. If you look at this. So, it can be easily solved, right? Where b, yeah, so do not think that b is uh, unknown, but b can be estimated by log x1 by x2 by log t1 by t2 using the power equation. So, x is equal to p t power uh, b, so x1 similarly x2 equal to p t2 power b. So, just divide these two and then lo apply log and you get know b value here. Okay. So, in this way, so knowing two points, you can estimate infiltration uh, characteristics of, of the particular field. Okay. So, now, uh, so the next is uh, we have developed a one point method. So, we, we do not require two points. Uh, to calculate uh, or determine infiltration parameters, you, even if you have one point, one advance point, still you can estimate the infiltration parameters. So that was, uh, I mean, we we could publish this uh, work in 2008. So the basic assumption here is, so we assume one time point, so that is uh, half of the advance point, I mean uh, the complete advance point, right. So, T 1, so we take it uh, one advance point T 1 such a way that uh, 50 percent is of the total time required to reach the field end. Okay. So, then, uh, so if you can go through the uh, publication, so that this is in uh, uh, ASC, irrigation drainage. So, the x 1 by x 2, because you have two points. Right. So, you take two points the same thing before x 1 by x 2 equal point, uh, q naught into 0 0.5 t 2 by every you, you get this equation. So, one point the following function can be obtained. So, finally, what happened this function can be obtained the whole procedure is given in this uh, you know the paper you can go through it and this can be easily solved uh, by using uh, Excel solver. So, in this equation the main thing is there are two unknowns right two unknowns with one single equation. So, this can be solved using Excel solver. So, this is the target uh, function and by varying a and b. So, using Excel solver you can find out what are a and b values. Okay. And then uh, once you know a and b you can find out you know k value by substituting these values back into the volume balance equation. 
and then uh, yeah, that is it a and b you got uh, a and k you got. Okay, so, this uh, screenshot showing uh, the one point volume balance method uh, which is explained in that paper. And then uh, uh, the shape parameters are very important. So, in order to find out uh, the storage, the surface storage, the shape factors are very important. So, uh, either you have to find out uh, these uh, shape factors. Uh, by measuring the by measuring the uh, furrow shape right so the mostly this is a, a typical furrow shape it has the top width t max and uh, and some width in between and t mid and the corresponding y max uh, these are the depths corresponding depths if you have this data from the field right you can find out the shape parameters like uh, by considering uh, this equation. So, the top width is uh, I mean top width top width if you see. So, it changes with the depth and it has a relationship alpha 1 y power alpha 2 and similarly the wetting uh, perimeter wetted perimeter which is equal to gamma 1 y power gamma 2 right and then a the area of cross section which is sigma 1 y power sigma 2. Okay. So, then we have this assumption a square a r power 4 by 3 r 1 a power r uh, uh, rho 2 rho 1 rho 2. So, our interest is how to find out rho and rho 2 values. So, using these values these are the measure in the field and you can fit you know the uh, these equations right fit these equations find out rho and rho 2 and there are direct formulas you can uh, put these values and get sigma uh, alpha and alpha 2 rho and uh, sigma and sigma 2 gamma and gamma 2 and finally, rho and rho 2. Okay. So, that in the next slide it is clearly shown here. So, alpha 1 which is equal to t max by y bar alpha 2 by max right alpha 2 is equal to this okay. and gamma you get sigma 1 sigma 2 and gamma 2. Okay. So, once uh, and, and then whereas, wetting front uh, wetted perimeter is estimated by uh, considering the depths and the widths top widths. Okay. And then knowing these values you can put our row 1 as sigma 1 power 10 by 3 gamma 1 power 4 by 3 and row 2 10 by 3 minus 4 gamma 1 by 3 sigma 2. So, for for row 1 and row 2 you need to find out what is gamma 1 gamma 2 okay, sigma 1 sigma 2 okay, alpha 1 alpha 2. So, you, you have to know alpha 1 alpha 2 sigma 1 sigma 2 and gamma 1 gamma 2. So, then only you can estimate row 1 and row 2. Okay. So, generally the borders and basins. So, if you see uh, so, these are the row 1, row 1 and row 2. So, this is this is not you can estimate a row 1 is equal to 1, row 2 is equal to 3.33 for borders and basins. In this case, what happens? The depths are negligibly small because the white channels, these are white channels when compared to four rows. So, the depth y is negligibly small, and in that case, the row 1 is equal to 1 and row 2 equal to 3.33. And for irrigated conditions, row 1 is varying from 0 0.3 to 0 0.7 and row 2 1.3 to 1.5. So, for example, here uh, for this particular data, this particular data set, right. Uh, so, the elevation from furrow bottom and horizontal width of the furrow. So, here 0 0 and from 0 0.01, 0 0.053. So, from furrow bottom, so you have a furrow like this, right. So, from furrow bottom, so the depths are given, okay. So, all the depths are given, and uh, so this is the depth and horizontal uh, width, depth and horizontal width. So, suppose you have this, so I have a depth and the horizontal width. So, I have a depth and a horizontal width. Okay. 
So, this represents the depth and the horizontal width of the furrow. Once you have the data, so you can uh, use these equations right alpha 1 uh, y for alpha 2 sigma 1 sigma 2 and t max t mid t y max y mid. So, these everything you can get it from uh, I mean you, you can draw this in excel and finally, you can uh, get this max uh, y max t mid and all those things. Now, using the equations find out sigma 2 and uh, sorry uh, alpha alpha 1 and alpha 2 okay. and then similarly you use uh, sigma 1 and sigma 2 right and then gamma 1 and gamma 2 and finally, uh, rho 1 once you know all uh, sigma 1 sigma 2 uh, alpha 1 alpha 2 gamma 1 gamma 2 and you can substitute in, in this uh, equation and finally, you get rho 1 and rho 2. So, these equations are very important in order to know the uh, shape parameters. So, shape parameters are important for uh, simulating the uh, phases or, or even the volume balance equation here uh, particularly. So, either you have in the field you can find out what is top width and bottom. If you have that particular data set and you can draw that in the excel and, uh, and feed that uh, you know different equations uh, we assume and finally, you, you get alpha 1 sigma 1 uh, no gamma 1 or and corresponding and alpha 2 sigma 2 gamma 2 and then rho 1 rho 2. Okay. So, the equations needs to be uh, remembered. Okay, so, so this is the thing and I have uh, one uh, excel file. So, for uh, suppose in this if you see this is an example of two point uh, method. So, it is clearly uh, given look at this here uh, this is the q right and s naught n Manning's n rho 1 rho 2 x 1 t 1 the two points right. So, this has one point and x 2 t 2 there is another point okay. and uh, this b. So, b b we have estimated with like b is equal to log of x 1 by x 2 divided by log of t 1 by t 2. Okay. So, that that is the equation which is plugged in and f naught uh, we assumed or for a particular soil type the f naught is given sigma y is 0 0.77 and the calculations are a naught there is an equation for a naught and uh, v 2 v 1. So, these these are all uh, different volumes okay. uh, uh, v 1 volume v 2 volume and then uh, and sigma z using k 4 or binomial expand uh, equation. Okay then uh, you are going to solve the equations for a and then solve the equation for k okay so here sorry and if you clearly see okay so the power equation we have and this is the volume uh, and this is v2 and uh, a is the uh, log of 19 so log of v 2 by v 1 divided by t 1 by t 2 ok t 2 by uh, 13 by 11 right so like t 1 by t 2 ok. So, here b is equal to sorry uh, so, yeah. so, a is equal to log of v 1 by v 2 by log of t 1 by t 2 ok. So, this is a and b you got and sigma z and once you got that and then finally, k value you can estimate using uh, by substituting back into the uh, volume balance equation. Okay. And this curve shows time and infiltration rate which follows which is a power equation and again clearly seen. Okay. And similarly, we, we, uh, we also have uh, the one point method. So, the one point method uh, if you remember correctly. So, the basically what happens? So, this is the equation uh, this is the function if you remember. 
So, this function uh, needs to be optimized. Uh, can I get the solver data and uh, you have solver right. So, go to the solver and this is the uh, this is the target cell and we are going to change the variables. The variables are a and b. So, this needs to be changed. So, then that is it solve it ok. So, then it will give it will give what k and uh, a values. So, sorry. So, a and b will be optimized and using a and b you can uh, uh, estimate k and a values ok. So, I can share these uh, these two excel sheets. So, in this I think the previous excel sheet uh, the, there is a, a procedure for finding the there is a procedure for finding the uh, shape factors. So, look at the same thing if you see the furrow geometry, if you open the furrow geometry clearly if you see the top width, mid, base and depth. So, if you have these things and gamma 1, gamma 2, sigma 2, sigma 1 and rho 1, rho 2 can be estimated. So, you can also use this excel sheet to find out the rho 1 and rho 2 values ok. All right. So, uh, I think this is in this lecture uh, basically we focused on the irrigation phases right. So, there are four irrigation phases which are required for uh, you know uh, modeling surface irrigation basically and then uh, we focused on the volume balance equations. So, though there are four approaches a full hydrodynamic model, Jurensha model, kinematic wave model and uh, uh, volume balance model. So, the volume balance model is simplest among all and uh, so, and we have seen the procedure to find out uh, how to uh, to find out the infiltration parameters knowing the advanced curve ok. So, thank you.